Hi, my name is Michael Lachance. I'm an author. I live in David City, Nebraska, which is in the middle of the country for my friends overseas. I write historical romance, uh, fiction. Most of my stories are based in part on the truth that there's some fact or something like my recent release, The Witch and the Roman, uh, involves a story about a Roman soldier fleeing the destruction of Roman legions in the Tudorburg forest. Uh, he encounters a witch and they decide whether or not to help each other and flee to Rome. Uh, I began writing in my teens and I've been writing for years, but only in the last 10 years have I been writing uh, fiction for open audience, general audience. I have books on Smashwords, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, uh, iTunes bookstores. All books are available in ebooks. Some are, uh, all of them are available in paperback, and then uh, two of them are available in hardcover: The Witch and the Roman and Treaty of Versailles: Par uh, The Power of Love. My genre of historical romance is I love seeing where love overcomes odds that are pretty outrageous. Uh, really tough to overcome, uh, a Roman soldier overcoming the barbarian onslaught, or in the Treaty of Versailles, the power of love. My character is a German who returns to Germany, becomes a Nazi in order to save his love, who is in a prison camp at Sachsenhausen. I've written some other books, uh, Haunting, which I'm going to share with you here. It's called 21 Windows. This is a story about a family who buys a house in the Midwest and discovers a sealed room. And after they go into that room, some terrible things begin to happen. 21 Windows. My favorite romance, The Camera. Uh, it's set in World War I in Verdun, France, and I went to Verdun and uh, did some research while I was there. And so this book is about a romance and overcoming odds between a priest and a woman he fell in love with in Paris. Another book of mine is called The Long Short. This is kind of a comedy. I had a run-in with someone who was very unpleasant at Charles de Gaulle Airport, and I wrote a story about how this person who was kind of a pompous horses behind and uh, just full of herself and very rude would be survive on an island with somebody who couldn't stand her. And so that's what this book is about. My next novel is called Three Fools for Spies. This uh, evolved out of a trip with two grandmas I travel with. They're both alcoholics, but you didn't hear that from me. Um, it's a spy novel, and they become embroiled in the theft of state secrets from Russia. And so that's Three Fools for Spies. Uh, three other novels I don't have with me, I'm sorry, are Treaty of Versailles, The Power of Love. It is a novel about a man named Nikki and his boyfriend, uh, Eric, during the rise of the National Socialists, or the Nazis, during the 1930s in Germany. Another novel which just was re-released is called The Witch and the Roman. I'm giving away 100 copies on goodreads.com uh, to January 23rd of 2023. I will do another giveaway in April. I'd love for you to get a free copy and read it. And uh, all authors, I have to tell you, our big thing, mine is reviews. I love when you leave reviews. As long as you're honest, I, I'm happy to have them. And I've had people that are I've been critical of a couple of books, and I appreciate it. Um, there's, I'm not perfect. There's things I read and I sometimes miss, even with the editor. And so I'm grateful to have reviews. And so I really would, I encourage you to please write reviews of books. That really helps an author to get themselves established. And also, too, if they need to work on their skills and their talent, it certainly has helped me. I love writing fiction. I love writing romances. I, uh, I do stand-up comedy. And I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had. I hope you'll 
take the opportunity to uh, buy one of my books. And I want to wish you the best in the coming year, 2023. My name is Michael Lachance, and on a final note, I want to pray for an end to the war in Ukraine and hope that in some way there can be peace in the reconstruction of Ukraine. And we just need to really, in a contemporary society, stop the barbarism. The other thing is I support programs that reduce the amount of plastic litter throughout the world. I really hope and pray we cut back as much as possible and resort to recyclables. Everywhere I've been in the U.S., there's litter everywhere. So as a writer, I'm looking at trying to write a novel about litter and how to try to make it into a romance. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Happy New Year.